video is for all of my K-beauty lovers as well as my fellow makeup lovers that are looking for something different to dive into a different market. I have so much fun when I get to cover K-beauty, J-beauty, Chinese makeup brands because honestly, I know so much, I've tried so much of the American ma makeup market. So whenever I get to dive into like K-beauty, I just feel like I'm in a whole new world. I'm starting from the beginning and it is so much fun. So I do have mostly K-beauty today, but I also have a couple Chinese brands, a couple Japanese brands, and we are going to do a full makeup tutorial testing these products. I'm going to do an in-depth eye tutorial because a portion of today's video is going to be sponsored by one of my favorite K-beauty brands, Clio. Now, Clio Cosmetics, I've been a big fan of their mascaras and various other products. They also have a really great eyebrow pencil, but they just launched these new adorable pro eye palettes that I'll get into when we get into the eyeshadow palette, but I need you to just look at this. This palette is called Napping Cheese, and it's a photo of a cat taking a nap. This palette is called Lazy Soft Paw, and it's literally a cat yawning. And the color stories are so good. So Cleo's gonna have great deals for Black Friday. So you're gonna be able to try these products for yourself. It'll be on Amazon Black Friday, and of course on their website for Black Friday as well. But let's go ahead and get started with the face here. To prime, I'm going to be going into the Etude Smoothing Face Blur Primer. I think the packaging of this is so pretty. It has a nice pearlescent color. I've used this before. It feels really hydrating on the skin. And I do feel like it really does a nice job blurring. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hourglass primer that you guys know I love. It, it's a bit different. I don't want to say it's identical, but it definitely reminds me of it. So face is primed. I'm going to do the perfect concoction for base today. I'm mixing the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream with the Etude Double Lasting Foundation. This is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It can be a bit drying though, so these two make the perfect base. I'm just mixing them on my palette. Where did I put my sponge? Hold on one second while I search for my sponge. It's a pretty good match. A hint's light, but it'll be okay. Now, some of these products I'm trying for the first time in today's video, but also some are products that I've been using for a bit now. So we've got a good mix in here. I'm using my sponge to blend the product in. But I do find a lot of K-Beauty complexion. It really does give the skin such a healthy, glowy look. They don't really do full coverage. It all gives the healthiest look to the skin. Now let's go into our eyebrows next. We're already going to get into the eye tutorial. So I'm going to start off with the Clio Kill Brow brow pencil. I really enjoy this one. It's a great dupe for a lot of American brands that are really popular. And if you ask me, I think Clio has really good prices as well for such high quality makeup. I mean, all of these brands do that I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to brush my brow hairs down. I'm going to define the arch out here. You guys know I'm pretty picky when it comes to brow pencils, and normally I don't like a brow pencil with thickness like this but it almost it works in this occasion I don't mind it at all and then for eyebrow gel I'm going to use the Unleashia shaper pomade eyebrow fixer this one is very similar to the Too Faced laminating brow wax that you guys know I'm obsessed with this one is very very close it has fantastic hold Okay, so let's get into eyeshadow. I'm excited to share with you the Clio Pro Eye Palettes, which are the cutest things ever you guys will see. And I think that they are really great prices as well for what you're getting. So take a look at this one. This is the Napping Cheese Palette. It comes with these cute stickers, a cat hugging cheese. 
I mean. And then here is the palette itself. It's a really pretty taupey, chocolatey palette. And I have used these, so the embossments are not as fresh anymore. But there's cat paws, some cheese. And then I love these because all of them have glitters included in the palette. Not like pressed glitters or anything, but you'll see just... K Beauty does the best glimmery eyeshadows ever, and so you're getting that with this palette, but you also have mattes, and you can see that this color right here is great for everyday makeup. Let's look at the other color story. We also have the Lazy Soft Paw. I mean, these stickers, come on. And this is a really pretty and unique color story. It's quite wearable as well. I love how they have the grayish tones, but also these pretty soft pinky tones. Again, this has the beautiful pressed glitter in there and then the mattes and the shimmers. And then this is from a different line of the Pro palettes, but how beautiful is this one? This one has more depth than the others. I just think that this one is so pretty as well. Great for every day. I mean, these color combinations are for everybody. They're gonna be very easy to use. I want to do more of a nude eye look, so we're gonna use the napping cheese. So I'm just gonna use my base makeup really quickly as my eye primer. I definitely don't recommend this if you have oily eyelids. I typically don't struggle with longevity for powder eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my foundation. It's also going to give us a nice clean base to start with. Using a shader brush, I'm going to go into the lightest shade right here. And I'm just going to set underneath my brow bone. This is the lightest matte shade, not the actual lightest shade. By the way, let me correct myself there. But I'm going to set down under there. I'm going to move into a fluffier brush and we're going to go into the shade next to it right here. And I'm just going to use this as my base crease shade, which is going to help make blending easier. It's also going to set down my foundation that I'm using as my eye primer before it starts to crease. And these shades are all pretty close to my skin tone. So it's going to give a really pretty nude look. Going into a little bit of a smaller brush, I'm going to go into the cheese shade right here. It's so beautiful and taupey. It creates the most perfect shadow color. And you can build this pigment as well, or you can keep it nice and soft. For my skin tone, I feel like this is the perfect nude palette. So I'm circling this in the crease and I'm kind of bringing it out a little bit. These mattes have a buttery feel and they're very good for beginners as well because the pigment isn't too strong and it's very easy to blend out, but it also can be built upon. Then going into an even smaller brush, I'm going into the deepest shade in the palette and I'm trying not to over blend it, so I'm keeping it pretty low. And I'm just going to use windshield wiper motions, like so. Then also going to blend that out because I do like having a little bit of an elongated look to the eye. But do you see how these shades are kind of blending themselves? It's a beautiful formula. But the shape and size of your brush really is everything. And you can go more peachy with this palette as well. I was trying to keep it more, I guess, kind of taupey for today's look to keep it really natural. Just a good basic eye look that's going to be pretty on everybody. I'm going to take a shader brush into this shade right here with the paw on it. And I'm just going to use that to set my eyelid. There's a hint of pink to it, which is really pretty. It's going to make the eyelid color stand out. Every time, I'm not doing an all matte eye look, but if I were to stop here, every time I do an all matte eye look, I am reminded how flattering these are. Matte eye looks really are super flattering. 
Okay, let's get into my favorite part of this palette. The Glimmery Shimmeries, they are not chunky glitters at all. They're super refined. You'll see what I'm talking about. We're going to go in with this one right here. It feels super silky. Look at this. You don't need any glitter glue or anything. You just pat it right on the eyelid. I'm literally putting it from outer corner to inner corner. And it makes the eye look so much more elevated, so much more professional, but it's super easy to do. Now I put that matte color all over the base of my eyelid just to be a base color and to also help the longevity of our eye primer. And it looked pretty that way, but I can't not use these glitters. I mean, seriously. How pretty is that? And these are a non-messy formula. They're gonna stick to the eyelid all day. And they have like a fairy dust sparkle effect to them. So I'm going to use a angled brush now and I'm just gonna do a really soft eyeliner using the eyeshadow. And I'm going to just press it right on the lash line. Gonna do a cute little wing while we're at it. I always love using eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's just easier and quicker as well. And then for concealer really quickly, I'm gonna use the Syme Cover Perfection Pot Concealer. So I'm just gonna use a brush to pat this on. This concealer though is a little stiff. So be careful and try not, <laughs> don't apply too much. It's a little bit better for spot concealing, I would say. I just don't have a K-Beauty concealer with me. And then make sure you grab a synthetic brush that's sharp that you can clean up under here with. And then for the lower lash line, we're gonna start off with this taupey shade right here, the cheese shade. And I'm just going to lightly run this along my lower lash line. I'm not going for too much depth here. So this is the darkest shade I'm going to go for on the lower lash line with a small blending brush. And then I'm using an angled brush and we're going into the glittery shade. And I'm just going to press it right in the inner half of my lower lash line to bring that glimmer down and these are also really good for holiday looks now that it's the holiday season pretty much girl use that glitter and then to finish off with this palette i'm going into this white shimmery shade and applying that on the inner corner isn't this gorgeous Oh my god, that shade has so much pigment. This shade would be gorgeous all over the eyelid. <gasps> Love the nude look that this gave me. It might be nude, but it's still really special and amped up with the glitter shades on here. So you can check these out, especially for Black Friday. You can get them on their website as well as on Amazon. You guys know I love a good Amazon purchase. I want to set the under eyes. So I'm going to use, this is from a Chinese makeup brand. So many of you guys have told me to check out their products because they are the most beautiful packaging. So this brand is called Flower Nose and I have this loose setting powder and these adorable little puffs. So we're gonna use this. I mean, look at this packaging, you guys. There's little ballet slippers at the top. <gasps> I need to try more from this brand. It's kind of hard to get off the top. Hold on. Oh, you twist it. And there's even a cute little bow. And for funsies, I'm going to dig into these tiny little powder puffs. And I'm just going to press in the powder. I've never used this powder before, so this is one of my first impressions. <gasps> Whoa. S super blurring do you guys see that hold on i'm gonna turn the lights down really low this is with the flower nose powder <laughs> oh, whoa <laughs> the only thing i will say is i do feel like 
Maybe it darkened my under eyes a little bit, which I don't love that about a powder, but this is, this is arguably one of the most blurring powders on initial application. Now, of course, we gotta make sure that actually lasts, but wow, I am impressed. Okay, I don't want to press too much powder on my face, but wait a second. We are on to something here. Now with K-Beauty, they really aren't into a bronzed look, but I am going to do a little bit of contour. So this is from Etude. It's the contour palette in the shade number one. Perfect, really great cool toned colors. So I'm going to take this shade first just to see. It's been a little bit since I've used it. Okay, yeah, this makes a really great shadow shade just right in this area we get underneath the chin as well what is on my face right now and then this shade has a little bit more warmth in it so I'm just gonna press that against my hairline here and then let's get a little bit down the nose as well if you're looking for a truly grayish kind of contour palette but not too gray this one is super nice for blush let's dig into another flower nose product so this is called the flower nose strawberry rococo series embossed blush now this packaging am i right look at that and then i'm gonna pop this on there's little cherubs in here okay Naked angel babies is what I called them in a video and you guys were like Morgan that's those are cherubs Like I like flying naked angel babies, but this is gonna give the prettiest super soft flush to the cheek And kind of keep it a little bit more in the center slash apple of the cheek Because this is that baby doll pink That's really popular for almost putting it like on the under eyes for that. I'm blushing look but it has a really soft finish on the cheek, which I feel like makes the cheek look blurred. It's very beautiful. And then for highlight, I want to use a cream highlighter to bring a little bit back some hydration to the face. So I'm going to use the Glint Stick Highlighter. This is in the shade Dewy Moon, so I'm going to warm it up with my finger and just press right on the high points of the cheek. This one has really nice quality. It's not going to mess with any powder that you might already have down and it's quite natural as well. So my main reason for reaching for this one is because I feel like the face is looking really matte. So this is just gonna add just a little touch of hydration and it's a super creamy formula as well i mean it would show a little bit more if i had a dewier base i just have a lot of matte right now on the face so it's going to be really subtle and then for mascara cleo has an amazing mascara line called their kill lash so i'm going to use the kill lash super proof long curling mascara going to curl the eyelashes first so I love this mascara because I feel like it was designed for Asian lashes, which are typically more straight and thinner, which if you guys don't know, I'm half Asian. Oh, made a mess. But I got 100% of those jeans. <laughs> so I love how small the wand is as well because it allows me to touch all of my lashes especially on the lower lash line so if you have small lashes this applicator this brush right here really lets you get all of the lashes i look crazy right now i will clean that up now let's go ahead and finish off with the lips the lip combo that i have for you guys oh, it's a good one so i'm gonna start off for lip liner using the peri para ink velvet lip liner in the shade milky brown does that just not sound like a great color it has such a creamy application and it's the perfect shade to make the lips look a little plumper
Love that shade. Okay, and then let's get a little bit of color to the lips. So I'm going to try this formula. I've never tried it before from Peripera as well. Love their lip products. This is the Ink Velvet in the shade number 17. So I'm just going to do a little bit of it because I do have a gloss that's going on top. So I'm just putting a little bit on. And then I'm going to use my finger to spread it out to give that K Beauty soft lip color. Kind of like a blurred look. It's also going to blend in with the lip liner. Mm, this looks so nice and soft on the lips. To finish off, I'm going to use the Peripera Ink Blasting Lip Gloss here. This is in the shade number two, Edge Nude. Mm, smells like kind of fruity. <sighs> this is the perfect neutral brownish nude gloss this lip combo I knew it would be good but I did not know it would be this good is this not just the perfect nude look particularly the eyes you guys know how I love my glimmery shimmery so I will have all of the products linked down below that I use but a huge thank you to Cleo Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video and sending me their newest pro eye palettes which are a great pickup for Black Friday this year I will have the link down to their Amazon as well as just their regular website here's the thing when it comes to K-beauty eyeshadows they create the best glimmer eyeshadows they do. It's better than what you can get on the mainstream market here in America because they are so fine, kind of like little sparkles, twinkling lights, fairy dust, as I said, on the eyes. They don't have fallout. They're not too thick. They're a perfect smooth consistency. That's one of the things that you guys suggested to me when I was trying to get into KBD. You were like, their glitter eyeshadows are the best. And it's so true. I've tried a few now at this point and they are just the prettiest if you like that really fine but sparkly glitter look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, if there are any Asian beauty brands that I need to get on, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.